Greetings, citizens of Super Earth. Strap in because it's time for a weekly news recap on our ongoing second Galactic War. And folks, don't forget today's broadcast is proudly sponsored by Stim Crunch Mission Cookies. <laughs> Side effects may include heightened senses, rapid health regeneration, and wait for it, the occasional tactical hallucination. Do not enjoy these responsibly. Strict used for only combat personnel. These cookies were designed by none other than the legendary Helldiver Chechen over at Most Wanted Merch on TikTok. Now, personally, this is also personally hand-selected by General Brash himself, so you know they're battle-tested. Now, Helldivers, next up, we have a very important message from the Ministry of Truth, and I think we all are very excited, and some of us have already heard of this update, but enjoy this. We'll be right back. Thank you, Ministry of Truth. And with that conclusion and opening now of the beginning, DSS or Dem Democratic Space Station, we now transition to where we always want to revere, remember, and honor the fallen hill divers on the front. Now let's take a moment of silence to remember of the hell divers who have fallen in battle. Their names are etched into the halls of Super Earth forever. Their bravery a shining example to all, to those citizens who've offered their loved ones. For the fight your sacrifice brings us closer to victory with every passing day. We remember, we honor, and we march together. Stronger, bolder, and always free. Now, Helldivers, plenty more to discuss. So strap in to your hell pods and optimize those underpants. This war is not over yet. We now transition to a segment we have now started where Q&A is coming soon, one of the new segments. But we've now we have an additional segment today discussing the new patch. Now, if I remember correctly, this is patch one point. Just one second. I, I have I have some of my analysts in the back of the screen helping me today. I'm going to introduce um, Officer Conco. He's coming in to hang out with us. I'm going to make sure he's set up on the production side. Officer Conco, can you hear me? Hello there. Is that is that Meridia AI? Officer, where's Officer Conco? Well, I'm not sure at the moment, but I'm here to provide you with some updates, if I may. Th this would be most ap most appreciated, Meridia. Letting us know of the summed up upgrades. That would be democratic. It would be my pleasure, Strider. So we'll start off with just the overview. Crash fixes, shield pack back fixes, and miscellaneous fixes. So under crashes, they have addressed rare crashes caused by weapon reloads, chat, and discord menu. Fixed crashes during host migration, opening armory and ship management, and a UI issue with too many teammates. And they have also resolved crashes involving unique skins, peer disconnections, and ship activities on others' vessels. Now there's been many fixes as well, such as the shield backpack fix, the SH-32 shield generator backpack now properly transfers knockback to the user. And one last one if I may, they resolved the bugs related to Helldiver cardboards not spawning in tutorials, arm glitches when switching weapons, and issues with own stratagems, which is all great news. I totally agree. And there's a lot more that we can dive in in that area. Meridia, I thank you so much for joining us tonight and giving us all those details as each Helldiver is very thankful for your um, great summary of this recent patch. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you too, Strider. And with that being said, 
Hell divers, rangers, and those joining from Super Earth, you wonderful Super Earth citizens. We now transition to our Q&A time. I do now want to open the possibility for anyone in chat to interact with us and ask us any questions. And Officer Conco, you brought this question. What is your expectation of the Democratic Space Station? What a great question. Now, I know we're all excited about this recent honestly news from the soup from super earth that they finally finished their research very important um the research must always always be done thoroughly and um intentionally and with it now being done they can now have the ability to actually start construction but now they need a planet and what better planet to do is than on the automaton front now officer conco if i remember correctly one of the two planets we can use is if i may pronounce this incorrectly hell divers so i apologize in advance um still got my analysts in the back helping me out with this we have classa and we have uh galaver if i'm now correct, on those yeah. two thank you officer Kronko. it seems most of hell divers or as some now know it as the blob have chose chosen galaver sorry Yes, that is right? what, it, what is looking right now in the Galactic War map. That is correct. Yes. Those of you jumping in here and curious about the Galactic War update, um, we did fail the recent major ordering. Officer Conco, would you like to update us on that? The Hellivers no made great sacrifices to spread the light of freedom across the galaxy, but it's what it was not enough. High Command has concluded the Helldiver Force readiness evaluation. Overall, force readiness has been assessed as moderately ready, which is not uh, a great statement coming from High Command. However, Agreed. a key finding of the evaluation was that in to increase overall weapon lethality appears strongly correlated with an increase in battlefield, battlefield effectiveness. This result merits further investigation. The threat posed by our, our enemies has grown. Vigilance and sacrifice will be required in greater amounts than ever to keep the fire of liberty alight. Thank you, Officer Conco, for that awesome update. And I think <laughs> we can we can turn to my second question. Uh, it looks Deep. like like it's, like you said, like Gall Gulliver is going to be the liberated planet, and because it's going to be the first liberated planet, the planet that is going to hold the democratic space station. But I wanted to look at it uh, strategics wise. Uh, absolutely. What do you think on the galactic war if it's a good choice for us hell divers to choose this planet caliber to hold our democratic space station what a wonderful question because let's address the elephant in the room hell divers we have had a lot of interesting um ministry of defense and honestly our destroyer computer malfunctions and i just want to draw out a brief circle for all of you. We have seen reports possibility of an additional enemy in the south of Super Earth. Now, that doesn't go to tell the already enemies here and here as I draw my, my beautiful circles. Now, the idea, Officer Conk, if I remember correctly, is to build said Super Earth space station, which I will, of course, make it blue is right now here i'm just gonna draw a space station correct yeah here's 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 my drawing skills so we have yeah, a little space and station and this is where they're thinking about making the space station as i just draw my circle here i'm gonna circle it for everybody now this space station will be primarily in the northwest of where the super earth forces would be located and um going um What's, what's a good strategic term? We don't have officer reference here with us, our quality control manager. Um, he is, he is of course, um, back on super earth duties, but uh, I believe it's e ingress and egress um, forces that would be going out and in from the space station. And another thing to address too, I think a lot of us want to talk about is the clan system that might be coming for each hell diver and possible contributions of using certain um, upgrades certain tools for each of you on the front and i know super earth is in the ministry of prosperity and science and defense are working hard to make your dives safer and more effective and that i think is m what my take on the recent updates of the space station officer Conco, would you like to add anything on that yes of course well 
what I think and what I see is uh, High Command has given us five days, or basically six days, to complete this major order, and we have to liberate either Gallivere or Klasa. So it, it is safe to say that we have almost a week to choose the planets, and I think it's a bit of a shame that a lot of hell divers, in my opinion, jump the gun, and they're of course excited for this democratic space station. But at the same time, we're getting Clarell on the automaton front and Akamar 4 on the on the terminal front both getting attacked right now and there's not enough hell divers forces to defend both of these planets because most of the forces are focused on Galaver and the democratic space station so i think there is still time to hold these two planets that are functionally looks like they're going to be lost to our enemies mm. and so i think first of all i would like to address that second of all Absolutely. i think on my opinion if we look at a bit we can look about the democratic space station in two ways, like a, an a defensive mode and like a more uh, aggressive attack mode. I think if our end goal is to reconquer Cyberstan and root out of the automatons a force out for all, Gulliver is the correct choice because it's between Super Earth and Cyberstan that I would say are the most uh, important planets on our Western Galactic War. Uh, and gives us enough uh, force and support to continue our assault towards Cyberstan. But I would like to say that Glassa, once that uh, sector where the planet is right now, that the Tannis sector is liberated, I think it could be a more defensive uh, point to control both fronts, both the Automaton and the Terminal front from Plaza. And if the Automatons do an incursion towards Super Earth, uh, Plaza is more towards the way that it won't get attacked or overrun easily. What a great breakdown there, Officer Conca. I, I do agree. I think strategically, Plaza would be a better location. Now it is a little further sector-wise, from Super Earth, but it is far enough away from Super Earth as well to also even be closer for if deployments to the Terminate front had to happen. Yeah. Um, exactly. Now, if if said enemies, um, which we aren't aware of any current information, those of you who are curious if we have any here um, on the Stroman News Channel, um, partnered with Strider Valor myself, of course, because um, we're partnered with Ministry of Truth. These areas were the original first um, automaton resistance that came about in the first, I believe this was the first galactic war, but the second galactic war now is where the automaton are coming from Cyberstan, which is the main force. And if we rewind on Helldivers 1 in previous wars, we did have an enemy that we all know of that were in the south. Yeah, that is correct. And those were called the Illumina, but we currently have no news that they have returned. The only oh, news hopefully. we have, the only news we have, Officer Conco, I believe, is when we sent a shuttle, sorry, a probe into the wormhole in Meridia. I believe that did not return any evidence. No, That's what the I Ministry don't... of Truth says, correct? That is correct. We haven't received any news as of, as of that yet. I think after the first galactic war, that same enemy is eradicated as far as we know, as Helldivers and the information that mini the Ministry of Truth provides mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. So at my moment, my focus goes into the automatons and terminates. I think the Helldivers forces are already spread thin between the two fronts and we should focus on spreading democracy and liberty to these uh, enemies. Now, Officer Conco, I was curious if you've had any reports of others on their front, but have you heard anything recently about this ongoing gloom from the Terminates? Uh, well, the last thing we heard is, is, is stop spreading. Uh, it's not going to any other planets as of right now, but at the same time, even though we control planets uh, close to in infested gloom planets, for example, Errata Prime, Fenris 3, or Stanu, we can't still, we can't access Hellmire as of yet because of this gloom and how thick it is. Our destroyers are not able 
to get us close enough to the surface to deploy. So, as where the way I see it, we have a lot of planets completely absorbed by this gloom, and we have no idea what is happening to our uh, to our planets there. So, I think the sooner our scientists from Super Earth discover a way for us to access this, uh, go through this gloom, and be able to land in these planets, the better. Agreed, and if I remember correctly, rewinding back to a couple weeks ago, they did upgrade a probe or satellite um, with additional aluminum plating, and it did return successfully. Was that correct, or were they still in development on that? I think that is correct. And then we just had um, another Helldiver come in and, and, and join us. Welcome in, Catwalker, to the... Helldivers News here with Strider Valor, partnered with Stroman News. Um, Catwalker said, we are spread thin, pretty thin across both fronts. I totally agree with you, Catwalker. It is something that each each of us Helldivers in here, the Strider Valor News Channel is quite aware of um, broadcasting from Super Earth, of course. And we just discussed about the better strategic placement of the space station would be at Klasa rather than Galaver. The only reason now, Officer Conco, I think people are rallying to Galaver is maybe um, because it's closer to Super Earth. But to be honest, I don't know if there's any other. I don't know if there's an additional reason due to ease of liberation. I was at, currently I'm currently checking checking our deployment numbers on Klasa. Klasa has okay, almost two thousand hill divers currently dropping and dived on the surface, and then Galaver, of course, has the 35,000 and ongoing. Okay. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. The majority of our sport forces are on the bot front as of night, right now, 47,000 Helldivers strong, about 70% mm -hmm. of our forces, and of course, there's still 29% of our forces trying to focus on the uh, terminal front, and mm -hmm. about 20,000 hell divers strong. So they are solid numbers. And growing. Yep. Uh, I think it's just a matter of how strong they, our enemies' numbers are as well, and the liberation rates and the liberation forces we need on each planet are growing bigger. So we're always welcoming new recruits to, recruits to help us with this second ongoing galactic war. Indeed. And with that being said, thank you. All Helldivers and Rangers of Super Special Forces for joining us today on this new segment. And Officer Conco, thank you for your involvement on this and your support for this news show, along with um, your own Meridia AI. Thank you, Rangers and Helldivers, for choosing us to be your Super Earth Update Network. And we want you to join us Tuesday and Thursday nights at 8 p.m. CST for drops wherever Super Earth requires. Our Discord link is below, and we would like to enlist you with our Rangers of Super Earth Special Forces. Dive safe and see you in the next news video. Best of the best. Live up to your name.